Welcome to this week's Make It Monday video tutorial. This is Lori Schmidlin for Paper Tray Ink. This week I'm going to be sharing with you how to create a faux stained glass look using vellum cardstock. Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use vellum to create a faux stained glass look. I'm going to first talk a little bit about supplies. Now, to start off, you're going to want some kind of die. I recommend using a cover plate die. It's large. Um, with some open pieces. I'm using the cover plate hearts from Paper Tray Ink. Next you're going to want some your top layer cardstock, whichever color you choose. Today I'm using white, Stamper Select White, and I've already die cut this using my cover plate. You're going to need a piece of vellum, and I just cut mine to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And next you're going to need some kind of dimensional foam. You can cut pieces of dimensional foam in little strips to, to fit in between all the little pieces um, to give it the lift and we'll talk about that later why that's necessary but uh, instead I didn't want to take the time to do that so I die cut two pieces of white fun foam using my cover plate and I glued them together and that's going to give it the lift we're going to need later and then you're going to want a card base also going to need some liquid adhesive. I like both of these, the um, Tombow Multi Liquid Glue and, and the Zig Two-Way Adhesive. I, I use these both a lot. And some kind of coloring medium. You're going to be coloring <clears throat> directly on vellum, so a permanent marker such as Copics work really well. Today I'm going to be using the YG23, the New Leaf, and BG45 Nile Blue colors. You can try, you can sponge them, you can color them with your ink pads. There's so many different ways to add color. This is just the, the way I'm going to be using today. To get started, I'm going to take my top layer of cardstock and my vellum. And I'm going to go ahead already and adhere this to my vellum. I'm going to just quickly add uh, some adhesive there and fill it in with places with my liquid glue. Yeah, I need to bring some more adhesive down here. There it goes. And now I'm adding that to the back side of my cardstock and just laying my vellum piece over it. And so I'm going to color on the back of my vellum. I'm going to start. And using alcohol uh, markers like this, if you color over and over, you're going to see streaks. So I just quickly add, lay down some color for the first layer. I usually go over it two or three times. Let's see. And I'm not going to color in every single heart, so I think I'm going to just, just going to wing it where I'm going to place this. Uh, maybe I'll add one here, here, maybe here, and maybe one here. Now I'm going to go over a second time and add some more color to each one. So uh, just one more layer to each of these. You don't have to be too careful about coloring in the line since this is the back side and you won't see that when you turn it over. See that color. Now I'm going to add some of my green. Let's see. Put one here. and add my second layer. And 
there we have, you can see that color. Maybe it helps if I put something light under it so you can see how that shines through. Gives it that stained glass look. Okay, now to assemble my card, you're going to want to add some dimension. And I mentioned this earlier. And the reason why is if you put this directly over your card base, it becomes more opaque and you lose the see-through look that vellum is so wonderful for. So we're going to adhere this to the fun foam to give it that. Now I'm using the, the mono adhesive for this because I find that the two-way glue pen doesn't stick as well on the fun foam. So I need something just a little bit more permanent. Just add a few dots here. Now, in the video I was going really fast and I kind of cut, you can see some of the color through the hearts, but obviously you can, <clears throat> you can color a little bit better and, and avoid that. And again, I'm going to use the mono adhesive on the fun foam, just, just so it doesn't come apart. to your card base. Okay, to finish my card, I went ahead and stamped and die cut some flowers from the new Farmer's Market Florals. You guys, this stamp set is so pretty. Love these flowers. I went ahead and, and also added a fine layer of glitter to each of my flowers. You can see it does leave a little bit of glitter, but you know, honestly, there are worse things in life than adding a little sparkle. <laughs> so I also die cut some sentiments. I'm using, I use the new huge hugs die set. I love the little drop shadow it has and the huge sentiments. And so here's my finished card. I layered the flowers using some dimensional foam onto my card as well as the sentiments. I added a little wooden heart and a bow and you can see all the dimension there and it gives it that, that wonderful stained glass look. This has been Lori Schmidlin from Make It Monday. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video tutorial. For more information on how you can play along, please visit the Paper Tray Ink blog.